Uh, hello YouTube, uh, Scum here, and we're gonna continue on with Demon Souls. I told myself I was gonna stop, but why stop, right? Thou seekest then touch the demon inside me. We have 55k to spend. Um, so let's see here. Uh, let's go. Do a couple strength. And let's do a couple endurance, and then I guess that's it. So the world might be mend. Art thou done? Thou art done, baby girl. Strength help the world be mended. So the world be mended. Oh, let's talk to Patches. We spared his life, and now he's hanging out with us here in the Nexus. So let's see what he has to well, say. I remember you. I'm glad I found you. I found some really nice trinkets. Well, we've been long acquainted, so I'm willing to part with them at a special price. But only if you buy today. I love how Patches immediately, immediately tries to hit you with the FOMO. Like, out of fear of missing it, just immediately, just like, hey, I'll sell it to you. Look at this stuff. Decrease fall damage for 40k. Recover MP a little at a time for 60k. But he does sell heavy arrows, which are nice. These are a nice thing to have. And he sells us all the grasses we could ever need. Um, ooh, sticky white stuff. A shard of the arch stone we won't be using. We're not a nerd. We don't cast anything. Let's buy ten of these. Good stuff, eh? You won't find it anywhere else. <laughs> I aim to please. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's see if he has anything else to say. Oh, I've not seen you of late. I have Just. some precious new stuff. You'll find something really useful, surely. All right, let's talk to him. Let's see if he has. Let's I have bad stuff. news. There's a rumor that the silent chief Yurt has infiltrated Boletaria. Yurt's a mercenary. Oh, he'd kill his own kin for the right price. Now, I'm not a saint, but compared to Yurt, ooh, I'm as saintly as they come. So I implore you to stay away from Yurt, the assassin in black. Okay, so we just found oh, out. Do as you please. But don't come a crying when it works not. <laughs> Money back, no guarantee. <laughs> um, Patches does not uh, include that in his uh, sales. Uh, but we just learned that Yurt is a terrible person. And that's coming from Patches. Patches is like, I'm a saint compared to that guy. So I can only imagine how terrible of a person he is. Um, I wanted to see, since they mentioned Yurt, if there's a particular NPC hiding somewhere. No, they're not. Hmm, okay. Or maybe it's around the other corner. I apologize, we're taking a little bit of uh, sightseeing in the Nexus. Nope, nobody. Okay. <clears throat> but apparently this yurt guy is a terrible person, so keep your eyes peeled for him. Now I want to talk to Patches one more time, and I want to see if I can get the dialogue yet. It's it's, it's one of my favorite line, line readings ever. Okay, so he's still going on and on about your. Okay, well, let's uh, let's go and start up uh, this Tower of Latria. I've um, let's see, Latria, land of the Queen's Ivory Tower. An old man took revenge on the Queen by locking her family in a prison with inhuman guards. All that escaped this place are the prisoners' cries. Well, we're going to hear a lot of a certain prisoner crying, and it's awful. 
He's got a case of the BGs, and it's uh, rather annoying. Um, I get lost in here very easily, and I think that's on purpose. Um, but we're going to try to find our way through here. Hear that chiming, right? That's those mind flayers. They're the guards, and they're carrying little lanterns around. I'll guide up guidance. Alright, so I think we need to get a key to open this up, because this is locked. <clears throat> and I don't know where we're at exactly. But I think that guy's got the first key we need. We got some prisoners by the... I didn't... There it is. That's Lord Ridiel, I believe. Uh, he's going to be... Help me. I think he's down below us. And some of these rooms are... Some of these cells are actually traps. You get ambussied. Alright. So, the Mind Flayers are cool, right? Um, they have a command grab. They hit you with it, and they stab their tongue through your head, and it's a pretty much an instant kill. Prison of Hope. Third floor cell key. Alright, so I wonder if this actually opens up everything that we've, uh, all these rooms. Ah, shut up. It does. Wonderful. Look at this. Got the wizard stuff. Um, can I put on the wizard hat? Oh, never mind. It's just armor. Ugh, lame. Can I put on the gloves at least? And still roll? Aha! We can wear gloves, everybody. We're in business. <gasps> this guy didn't want to be here anyways. God bless him. He's having a hell of a time. I'm going to try to fight for your right to party. He shanked us. Prison rules? Uh-oh. Oh, we're about to be had by uh, this. He's getting us on startup every, every time. All right. That was almost the end of us. We almost, our life flashed before our eyes. <laughs> we almost got done in by the guy with the shank. Um, and I believe this is now going to open this door over here. I don't really think I need to keep checking all the cells. Does this work? No. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's continue around the way then and see if we can find our way out of this hopeless prison. And away from that. Is that a rat? Because there is a cell that I do want to... There's armor in this prison somewhere that I want. And I've put it off for 50% like of this playthrough. Look at him, he's just hanging around. Can you hit him? Alright, what's that way? So that's over to the other side there. I believe that magic right there, that little blue light, I think that's Sage Frake's cell. I'm going to see if I can let him out, but I'm not going to go out of my way for it if you uh, catch my drift. Wow, they got me on startup. They hit me through the wall? Uh, these are my mortal enemies. These uh, rogue players. I'm just bouncing off the walls. I might have the wrong weapon for here. I might not make it through this. <clears throat> No, 
Okay. So we're kind of familiar with that ring of cells there. Let's see. Oh, there's a mind flare right there. Shit. And I think they're AoE. Because uh, I haven't upgraded my vitality. I think it might one hit me. So we're going to do our best to avoid that. Or Mercury Stone. Mm. There's another one right over there. <gasps> Back you. <laughs> I think I think that guy can push you off there. I think. These guys, uh, they don't want to be here anyways. I need to go ahead and take care of them. Right, what's the pathing of this guy? Okay, so he stops right there. <laughs> what? That looked goofy. Oh, we have we've got the silver coronet. Um, so let's see here. Can we equip? Because we have a tiara. Perfect. Alright, let's see if he sees us. Doesn't look like it. Okay, so an R1 attack uh, gets them one hit. Good to know. I believe. Oh, is this the key? Okay. So we got another key. It sounded exactly like the other key that we just got. I wonder if that unlocks by the arch stone. Or maybe just this side of the cells. Oh, they got poker. They got little poke sticks. Did you see them? They had it in for me since day one. He's still got it in for me. Back. Back you. Can we go around that right side? Let's see. Because if anything, I think this key might allow us to go down. We checked all these. Look at me trying to make a mental map of where the hell I even am. Okay, so no, we can't get over there yet. We must have to like come in from the bottom. Let's go back the way we came. And I believe this key should work over there. Guess we can run. Please help me. Not ah, quiet you. Because I don't think I'm going to do everything necessary to open up his cage. He's kind of annoying. He's already dead. Perfect. So we unlocked a shortcut. So when we inevitably die, 
we'll be able to spawn right here and just come and take a right and we'll be able to go through here. Where am I? It's so dark. So we came through here, so it looks like our only course of action is to head upstairs. A couple of, couple of dead bodies. Alright. So now we're upstairs. I believe. Oh! <gasps> Gasp! He was an actual enemy. He would have gotten me. Oh, let's see. Unknown hero soul, I think. Is this the assassin set? No, Stone of Ephemeral Lies. All right, doesn't look like there's anything else in this room. Okay, so let's just continue left. Oh, there's so many. There's so many of them. Can I actually get a... Trying to see how many I could take out before uh, having to open the door. What the hell is hitting boxes? It appears to be locked. So I can't go in this gate yet. So I must need to pick up a key. All right. <clears throat> Can I open this yet? No, I cannot open that. Yet. Well, there's a mind flare out there. Does he? Does he see me yet? He must not. Oh. See, I knew it. I knew it. Too fishy. Back you. Three more of them in there. Oh, it's right there. There's a whole room of them. Uh-oh. Gasp. Full-scale retreat. Oh, these guys aren't even the bad ones. They're the meat shield. And we're just going to stay topped up. I think the S-Dock. Interesting. I believe I heard that weapon's kind of good for certain builds or something. Or people like it. Fresh spice. These guys just hanging out in barrels. Look at them. They look like they're having a great time. A lot of widows and royal lotuses. I know there's some point I might get poisoned by a red phantom, but dropped off the cliff. All right, let's see here. Now I believe that's the Iron Maiden I want. I think that finally the one I've been looking for this entire time. Let's just make sure we don't get ambushed. Anything else in this room? God, it's so dark. It's so unnerving. Oh, one of these is a trap. Aha! We got the assassin's mask. Okay, this was alluding to the entire time. I'm hideous. The character creator's ugly. But 
with a little bit of customization. Behold, we have a mask. <laughs> and now we can fool around with armor a little bit to see if maybe I can cover up a little bit. Because it's cold out here. Uh, equip burden. Can I still roll? Ooh, I can still roll like this. Perfect. All right, finally. Now I'm looking a little cooler. I got a little uh, little mask on. I've got some clothes on. Look at me. Everything's coming together. I think there's something evil in here. No? Unknown. And I believe, if I remember correctly, the... The fluted set is somewhere in here as well. Because normally I start the game out with the fluted armor by picking the uh whatever knight but uh this playthrough if you're watching from the beginning i goofed up <laughs> i picked the soldier on accident and i tend to not do that i don't know if that works i think that rat is an indication of like bad one see yeah yo he came out swinging my man, and he got me too. I jumped. I won't lie. I knew it was a bad one also. Where is, oh, there he is. Do you notice us take a swing at him? Oh no. Oh, that's really embarrassing. Bonked. Oh God, I'm so lost. Um, oh, here we go. Hold on, everybody. Hold on. All right, we got the fourth floor key and cell key. Okay, so I think that's what we needed to go back to that other area to go around. Um, But I guess let's continue forward just to see what else is here. But I have pretty much everything I want. Oh, I think the... <gasps> Where am I? <laughs> okay, so we're at the hallway. Um, I, I guess I should watch the ground. <laughs> uh, that might be a smart thing, because I could have just uh, could have died. That would have been fun. We're trying to keep our deaths to a minimum. Fudge. Do I have to go back to the beginning again? And then go up to the fourth floor? I do. I went the wrong way. That'll teach me for not paying attention to the ground. But I find that to be the most difficult thing about this area. Is everything looks so similar. That you kind of just get lost in it. Which might be part of the point, right? make you feel uneasy <sighs> not Mr. IBS calm down bro it's fine but that might be the end point so we might not need to actually go any further because if that if that walkway is a drop off, we might have to come up from the other side. So we might go through the gate right over here and just open it up, actually. I don't want to show off his little command grab, but I also don't want to die, so, you know. Maybe it'll happen to me, and I won't mean for it to. I think the Royal McLady is over here. There she is. So this is the lady that's been singing those two notes over and over again. And she immediately cuts in because, uh, 
or cuts the music because she gets a little embarrassed because we caught her singing to herself. You're an ordinary human, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Where do you call home? Uh, dear me, I should Scumbill. Cry. Oh, perhaps you'd like something from my collection. I've had better days. I was once the wife of royalty, and I have some nice things to show for it. Former royal's wife. So she has one cool. She's got a ring here. Which for 50k souls, and it looks like you can obtain more souls when slaying enemies. Uh, she got some black bolts. She's got full moon grass. Uh, which we'll go and take one of those off of her. Oh, we can get two actually. It's got moonlight stone. I don't know what moonlight does. I don't know what that upgrade path does. I mean, let's Before, talk to her. there were many others trapped here. But they went mad and ventured above of their own volition. Redemption? <laughs> there exists no such thing. Anything else to say, lady? The queen banished her depraved old husband from the land. He returned in strange golden garb with foul demons in tow. They pillaged great Latria, land of the learned, and locked us in this dungeon. Since then, They've been feeding off our souls, telling us over and over that if we go above, we will be granted redemption. Interesting. Okay, so we're going to come across that husband that she spoke of in the, the crazy golden garb. So he came back. So that's interesting. So King Alant came back with demons and they pillaged Boletaria. The banished husband came back with demons and did the same thing to Latria. And kind of just wipe that all it, okay I didn't catch that before I know the, the truth the church goddess may die but never for long and we are trapped below forever okay I'm glad I kept talking to her because completely forgot about a boss mechanic thing and I would have been that would have been really embarrassing I like how she mentioned how okay redemption does she say it again? Us over and over that if we go above, we... the okay. church god and we are trapped below. The church goddess. All right. So we'll come across thank this. You. Yeah. Now thank I you. I can stay here for a little while longer. Yeah, she kind of hangs out with all of her her royalty, her little stuff, and I guess sells it off and gets souls slowly as she kind of just sits here. I guess people have come through here and given her uh, souls as well. Just fun little snippets of lore, right? I like it. Okay, that's where I fell off like an idiot, I believe. Alright, and then she goes back to singing her two notes. I mean, she has to kill time somehow, right? Alright, let's take care of this Mind Flayer. And then we'll continue about our journey. Time to get bonked. Nice. <clears throat> so this came from the outside. I'm trying to get my bearings. Right, it's a dead end, so we need to go left. That door is not real, so we just need to continue going this way. There's not much else I really feel like I need to loot. But I guess let's open it up for these scoundrels to try to shank me. I don't think there's really anything in there that I want. Dare I risk it? You know, we do this for the barrel boys, right? To get them out of there. I bet the other mean prisoners, like, put them... I actually don't know how they got in those barrels, to be honest with you. How did their... Okay. Maybe I'm thinking too hard about it. I, I like the idea of going with the other prisoners, bullied them, and stuck them in the barrels. I 
And this should be a key. Open up this. Julio. I'm looking over to see how much time I've spent here. It's felt like an eternity, and it's only been 30 minutes. Like, I feel stressed just being here. Okay, so there's two directions. There's... Down, and then there's up. Can we... Act, do we need a key, actually, to continue through? No, we can just open this. Okay, so that door's locked. Floor one. All right, well, now is it unlocked? Oh, so this isn't floor one. Let's get this calculated. Can we... Can we unlock any of these? We can open this one. We found a fog wall. Is there anything this way? Oh, can't carry it. What the hell is that? What could that be that's so heavy that would over overburden me? Yeah, I don't really need it. I just want to know what it is. Black bolt. Okay, so it's just black bolts. We don't, we don't need those. All right, I think I can just go down, I believe. Because the other stuff is like Sage Freak and all that. And I don't know if I care enough to... No, no, no. See, I say that every time. I try to just run right to the boss room and do my thing. But let's, uh, let's do this for the... Um, whatever. Let's see if... Let's watch the floor. Make sure that we're not going to fall through. Well, this guy's been like... Please, help me. I wonder, does he drop a key? Appears to be locked. Okay, I wonder if there's like a key on the wall or something for him. No, I thought that was like barrels and stuff. Yes, yes, yes. Can you like not throw? Calm down. So that's blocked. We can't go that way. Help me. I'm sorry, man. It doesn't look like I've got the goods. I apologize. So all of these... Is this floor two, I believe? And the one below us is floor one. So we might not have what we need right now to actually do this. So never mind. My instincts to uh, get through this world as quickly as possible were correct. <clears throat> Where are we? So there's a big old flesh ball over there, I believe. Let's we'll see him. Maybe in a different hallway. Keep watching the floor. Still yell. <gasps> oh, I believe this is the fluted armor, isn't it? It is. Um, anything that I have that I really don't need. I kind of need all of it. I mean, I don't need this. I don't need... I don't need the football helmet anymore. Uh, I'm only going to be using probably the assassin's mask for the rest of... Please, help me! Silver bracelet. What else is here? Night shield. Looted legs. Looted gauntlets. Ah, some of this stuff just isn't worth the pain. Um, 
What's heavier? The fluted stuff is even heavier. Wow. Um, I kind of wanted the helm, but I'm never going to have enough endurance to actually wear it. Just for the look. That's fine. We, we've got everything that we need. I could use that ring from Stockpile Thomas, but I kind of don't feel like it. Oh, there he is! The Flesh Ball. He's got a bunch of... He's so... He's a... He's like the blob. Look at all those arms he's got that are just flailing about. Oh, shit. <gasps> so he can kind of kill you really easily. I thought I was out of range. And then he's got a little soul arrow fire for his ranged attack. I missed. Whew. We almost died, actually. Just because I misjudged the distance. Don't worry, Barrel Boys. We got you. Or Pot Boys. Old Spice. That's for nerdy casters. You don't need any of that. So there's the open gate that way. Is uh, say I don't care about the crystal lizard because there's a hole in the ground or something. Did he just fall down or did he just disappear? I don't know. Oh shit! I just told myself to watch the ground, too. That's what I get for exploring. This is all my fault. All right. Worry not. Oh, that's, like, tragic and heartbreaking. I spent so much time clearing out that stuff. <sighs> you live and learn, right? Maybe this area will get to uh, pure black world tendency. Maybe it will. If I'm dying to the floor like that. So that's the electric blast he can do that paralyzes you and then he hits you with the command grab. But he missed and hit the wall and then he just walked away. Oh, there's another one right there. Ooh, that almost got me. Look at him rushing in for the attack. Oh, I didn't get him. Please come outside a little bit more, sir. I tried everything in my power not to kill him, apparently. So there's the old lady. Uh, we need to go this direction and then over here. I'm running when I shouldn't be because I don't think the floor will collapse underneath me or there's a hole somewhere. Then we can head down here. I think we're getting closer to where we were. Went out this gate here. It went down. Okay. Alright, alright. And then here's the fat blob thing. Did he give up? <laughs> okay, so I went down that way. Oh, let's go pick up our souls. Uh, so we went down this way, and we died a terrible death. It was awful and tragic for everybody involved. We'll never make that mistake ever again.
Okay, so maybe this is coming up the other side. Okay. Now, I was gonna just go forward, but let's explore a little bit. What's the worst that could happen to us? It's not like we've died or anything because we fell off. Um... Appears to be locked. Okay, so we... Is that... I think that's Sage Frake cell right next to that one, I believe. Now, I wonder where we'll get his key at. I don't... I don't recall, because I'm never playing a nerdy caster build. I don't know where that stuff is. Uh oh Alright. Here's a real question. Do I do the tech... Or do I not? Um, I don't... It's been so long since I've done it. There's a way to skip this whole next section. Because right here... Is... A T-posed guy. And it shoots arrows. But you can roll through them. So I'm debating if I want to do this the legit way and go around and turn it off, or if I wanted to skip it and roll it. Uh, my heart's telling me to skip it. it. It could be fun, right? You have to even remember the timing. Shit. Curses. See, I delayed it a little too long that one time and I got caught in hit stun and then I it carried over my uh, it carried over my roll and made me roll afterwards. Um so maybe we'll do it legit, I guess. Cause I don't want to spend my whole time here just uh, attempting to do that for the funnies. Or maybe we'll, maybe we'll take one more stab at it, right? Cause I didn't believe. And it's not like it's gonna take forever to get back there, right? I missed. Out of my way, please. Okay. Oh. Actually found a, a single R attack kills them. Okay, so that's the bad side. And this is the good side. Okay. We'll ignore those guys. They're fine to uh, do whatever they please. I'm not mad at them. Don't need to go that way. Go out here, go down. Perfect. Down again. Where am I? Okay, now here's the gelatinous blob. That didn't happen last time. Well, I mean, it happened the first time. Solera? Oh, he's gonna cast two of them. Getting a little careless. And now, we can go out here, right? Be through this gate. And we're back where we started. So, let's see if we can, uh... I did way too early, that's fine. Ah, oh, we made it, everybody. 
congratulations. Um, not with a little bit of flubbing, but we pulled this lever. And we shut down the T-posing um, statue that shoots arrows. Uh, now there's some loot out here, which I don't really know what all it is. So let's find out together, shall we? We got a storied soldier soul. My heart is like, my heart rate picked up a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. That was fun. Doing that like uh, in human form with the idea of like losing out on uh, a yet another um, stone of ephemeral eyes. It's kind of nice. Kind of liked it. Was a fan, would do again. Now there is the church. Look at this lead up, everybody. Hold on, everybody. Let's take in the environment for a second. Look at this like weird, like webbed design thing going on here. And it's all like centering, like right here to this lead up. Oh, this is like wonderful. Young scum took a look at this and was like, ooh. I don't like being here, but I really like uh, what I'm seeing. All right, so there's a couple things we need to do. Um, couple different ways we need to go. Now there is a, I believe there's a black phantom up there and she's got an invisible ring and she does the poison damage and all the weird stuff. But I believe we need to go up one of these routes because of what the lady in the cell told us, right? Talked about how the, the goddess of the church, he dies, but never for long. And there's a reason for that, which I think it's fun. I think it's very fun. Uh, I don't know if there's any other enemies up here, actually. I think we just have a lead up to the church. Normally, you would just take the stairs, right? You would just... Not even the stairs, just kind of the ramp up. And there it is, the very front of the cathedral. So what happens is we go through this little door here. All right. And down below, that's the uh, that's the boss room with all the pews and all the stuff there. All right. And then, uh, look at this little guy. What's he doing here? What, what do you want? I am a humble servant. I do not wish to interfere. I won't cause you trouble. I won't. No, fair enough. He won't cause us trouble. So, Prisoner of Hope, Special Key 1. I don't know who that's for. What? I, I, I won't. So, anyways. Um, if you leave that guy alive, and you do the boss fight that we're about to do, um, he'll just resurrect the boss. And she'll just get right back up, and you won't be able to complete it. It's a little infuriating. Now, I don't know what's up the other side. So let's go ahead and run back, take the other path to the left, and see what's up there. And then we'll do the boss fight. I know this this part might run a little long in the tooth, just because I've uh, I've died several times. I've done a couple of uh, misguided things, but you know. Live and learn, as they say. Can you keep going up? No, this is it. All the way back down. All right. Now we can go across the way here. Let's see. If anything. Oh. What's this? I apologize, we're gonna explore a little bit. Look at this, new content. Can 
a mind flare there. Uh, what is the purpose of this? Very strange. Um, I wonder if some event happens here. Um, or something. Or if there's like a story thing or whatever. Um, there must be. I wonder if it's like a black world tendency or white world tendency event. Uh, I was just curious. Or I thought it might be an extra McShortcut to uh, alleviate our pain as soon as we inevitably die to this next boss. Alright, we're at the top. Alright, let's run along here. I'm not dropping down for whatever the hell that is. Because um, there's a little break in the... Think you can drop down and grab that thing. I don't want to miss that jump, and I don't think it's anything particularly that I or particular that I need. I believe it's just. Yeah, I have no idea what it is actually. All right, and what's over here? What does this guy have? Silver catalyst. Okay, so he just has a catalyst. All right, let's go do the boss. Let's go up front. Let's see if we can take care of the Red Phantom, if there is one. Uh, I've died a couple of times, but I don't know if I've died enough to... Which I don't know why she triggers, or if she's always there or not. Getting slightly parched. Hold on. Back to it. Oh, shoot. I went out the wrong way. I was like, wait, oh, wait a minute. All right, let's go ahead and, uh, just in case, let's go ahead and put on, I, can't, I don't know if she poisons or if she bleeds. Or she plagues us. Let's go ahead and Widows and uh, whatever on. Excuse me, I had a hiccup. Ah. Where are you? She's also wearing, I believe she's wearing a ring uh, that kind of obscures her detect ability, so you have to be much closer to her. There she is. Oh, shoot. <gasps> Which I think she'll drop. Let's see. Uh, would overburden you. I should have uh, taken care of a lot of this. What can we drop? I don't need any of this mercury stone, so let's go and drop all of that. This moonlight stone. Oh, what does she drop? Two stone of the ephemeral eyes. And something else that I can't pick up. Um, oh, well. I think it's a ring of some kind of resistance. Actually, we might need it. Hold on. I can find something else to drop. Uh, I don't need a catalyst. Uh, snooze and uh, snooze. Ooh, I don't need this either. Okay, let's see if we've made enough room. 
chunk of moonlight. Yeah, criminy. All right. Anyways, let's just continue on. I like how she gives the, when the old lady referred to the royal's wife, she referred to this um, lady of the church or whatever, giving everybody false hope and whatnot, right? And you, we enter into the boss room and let's just take a gander at what we're looking at here. Very heavenly looking, right? Bright lights. Forearms. Alright. Look, fool's idol. Right? And we got some of these guys in the background just kind of uh, hanging out. We're gonna kind of clear some of the. Watch. Don't know if they're gonna give us insight into because there's traps on the floor, right? Uh, do we have a developer message? The that voice is reviving the idol. That's cool. Okay, so there's a developer message. So if you enter in here and you start killing the boss, because this is I'm in offline mode. Uh, that's gonna tell you about a voice, and that guy talks to you. He talks some jank while uh, you're fighting. Took off like half health immediately. All right, so we got a few of them, right? So that's a fake one. There's a couple sigils on the ground. <laughs> Laughing at me. Oh, I didn't see where the real one was coming from. Let's see. Let's take the. You shall shoot a uh, kind of a soul arrow kind of thing. Oh shoot, I wasn't paying attention to that one. I was waiting for her to do something. Let's full heal. There, so that's the real one, right? Oh, I thought I could clear out some of the benches a little bit more. There's a trap right here, I believe. All right, so we took care of the fool's idol. The demon was destroyed. Um. I think normally you're supposed to do this fight much earlier, so we're a little we're a little overpowered for what we are, but uh, I think it's a fun boss fight. She casts traps on the floor that'll like stun you in place, and she can like shoot you for free, and I don't know, it's fun. What else do we have here? Uh, there above, Is it referencing that guy we killed earlier. Go ahead and continue. Actually, let me let me look through the cathedral uh, downstairs just to see if I missed anything. Got one guy in the corner here. Got some old spice. Don't need it. All right, let's go to the archstone and let's uh, let's get teleported upwards. Though so the royal's wife told us that no one actually can go up, right? But look at us. We're gonna do it. me up just to put me back down. Is there anything else in here? 
I don't believe. And I think there's I think there's something similar in I think Dark Souls 1, I believe. Like when they take you to Lordaeron or something. I think it's kind of similar. A similar cutscene. Alright, we got the dolls and demon souls. Let's just see. I just want to read it real quick just to see if there's anything interesting on it. Uh, the soul of the demon, the fool's idol, and radiant strong energy, uh, large number of souls. Oh, oh, oh. Nothing interesting. Let's go back. And this part has run over an hour. So if you're still watching on YouTube, I apologize. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next part.